Welcome dear Adobe viewers. In the previous session we have studied about refraction of light through a prism. In this session we will be discussing about dispersion of white light by a glass prism. Now you must have seen the spectacular colors of a rainbow. So what idea do you have about those colors? Okay. So is it something like someone is going to reach out to the sky and paint the sky with those beautiful colors? No, it's nothing of that sort, okay? The colors which we see in a rainbow, okay, they are there because of a phenomena known as dispersion. So, in order to understand the phenomena, let us try to understand this activity first of all, okay? So, we take a thick sheet of cardboard with a hole or say a narrow slit in it, okay? Then we allow sunlight to fall on the cardboard. So, you will see that yes, since it has got a narrow slit, so a narrow beam of white light, which is the sunlight, okay, it will emerge from the cardboard and then in the path of that white light, we are gonna place a prism. So, you see the light, okay, it will encounter the refracting surface of the prism, it will undergo refraction, then it will travel inside the prism to encounter the second refractive surface, it will undergo refraction and finally it will emerge, okay, and hit on the screen which we have placed on the other side of the prism. So, we have taken white light. So, what do you think? What will be the impressions which are formed on the screen? I mean, what will be the colors that will be formed on the screen? Whether it will be only white light, or a patch of different colors including white light or a patch of different colors excluding white light. So when you actually carry out this activity, you will see that on the screen you will get patches of different colors, okay, excluding white light. White light is not there, but then different colors are there. How many colors? Seven colors. And what is the sequence of colors? Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. So in order to Remember the sequence of colors, okay, we can take the help of the acronym which is formed from the first letter of every colors that is V, I, B, G, Y, O, R, Vibgia, okay. So this is the sequence of colors, okay, which are formed on the screen. So you see, this is known as band of colors and what is band of colors known as spectrum and since here the band which we have obtained is for white light so it is known as this band of colors is known as spectrum of white light there are seven colors but you see you cannot exactly locate the boundary that is separating any two colors okay but you can see that yes there are seven colors so we took a white light and on the screen we are getting seven colors that means what the prism it is helping us okay to know the property okay property or say nature of the white light nature in the sense what it is made up of it is made up of seven colors thus we can say that yes white light it is made up of seven colors what are the seven colors violet indigo blue green yellow orange red so this phenomena okay the light splits into components okay the components of which it is made up of is known as dispersion and since here okay we are learning about white light so in this case it is dispersion of white light now let us try to understand what actually happens inside a prism because of which white light okay it gets split up into the seven components so for that purpose we take a glass prism and allow a beam of white light to be incident on it so you see the white light it is traveling from rarer medium to denser medium so they will bend inside the prism towards the normal okay and finally after undergoing refraction at that particular surface of the prism okay all the seven colors which will emerge okay it will fall on the screen and we have the spectrum violet indigo blue green yellow orange red now see on the screen okay we see that all the seven colors they have different positions different positions that means what the path along which all the colors have traveled are they the same do they overlap no the paths are different since the paths are different that means what the extent to which all these colors have suffered deviation okay it is different or say the extent to which they have suffered bending inside the prism they are different they are not the same now why bending takes place it is because change in speed as soon as light encounters another medium in this case glass prism okay so you see since all the colors inside the prism they do not have the same speed okay so what will happen they will adopt different path 
okay the extent to which they will suffer refraction or say the extent to which they will get bent okay with respect to the direction of the original incident b it will be different so since the extent of bending is different okay so what will happen the path they will adopt they will be different why the extent of bending is different because the speed speed of all the colors inside the glass prism is not the same it is different okay that's the reason you see finally okay the color which emerges out from the prism okay all of the colors they will have different path okay so white light on one side on the other side seven colors so you see the spectrum goes something like this violet indigo blue green yellow orange red so from violet as we move to red the wavelength increases or say the frequency decreases also the speed okay increases from violet to red that means what inside the prism red it will have the maximum speed and hence it will suffer the minimum deviation on the other hand violet it will have the minimum speed or c it will suffer the maximum deviation that's the reason in the spectrum you see that red lies at the topmost position but the violet color it is at the bottom part okay so any light okay for any light if you get the spectrum vibgeon okay then that particular light is nothing but white light sir isaac newton was the first to obtain the spectrum of sunlight using a glass prism so we have discussed that if we have a prism okay glass prism and if we allow white light or say sunlight to be incident on the prism then what will happen this portion will take place that means what the prism will split the white light into the seven components so you have the seven components so now what if i place another prism in the path of this seven colors what do you think okay whether the prism it will split the individual colors into more further components or it's going to recombine them recombine them to get the white light okay so let us check so for that purpose we take a prism okay then we invert the prism then in the inverted position only we are going to place it here inverted in the sense that yes this prism is inverted with respect to the first prism so you see what this prism will do as soon as the seven components encounter okay and undergo refraction through this prism this prism will recombine the seven colors after recombination what you will get the white light so what will happen white light will emerge from this prism so we allowed white light to fall on the prism then this portion occurred we got the seven components then when this seven components or say the seven colors were allowed to incide and thus particular prism placed in an inverted position with respect to the first prism finally white light will emerge from the second prism so why is it the case that yes this prism is recombining all the seven colors that's because since we have placed this prism in an inverted position so the refraction that is produced by this prism is equal and opposite to the refraction that is produced by the first prism so now we can easily guess okay why we see the beautiful colors of a rainbow that's because of dispersion dispersion plays a major role in the formation of rainbow So a rainbow it is a natural spectrum which generally appears in the sky after a rain shower. So what happens after a rain shower is that some tiny rain droplets or say the water droplets okay they remain suspended in the atmosphere. So let me take one of such droplets and zoom here. So now we will understand the formation of a rainbow. So when sunlight okay falls on this rain drop what happens you see when they encounter the surface okay what will happen change in medium is taking place so the incident light rays okay they will suffer refraction they will undergo refraction and then they will undergo dispersion so because of dispersion what will happen you see yeah the white light it has split it up into seven components the seven components of the white light will then encounter this surface okay and then they will undergo internal reflection not refraction internal reflection that means the seven colors they will undergo reflection internally within the water droplet okay and then they will encounter this surface undergo refraction and finally they will emerge this emergent light rays okay when they hit the eyes of an observer then that observer can see a rainbow being formed in the sky in the direction which is opposite to the direction of the sun so we can see the different 
okay phenomena which are involved in the formation of rainbow so it can be summarized as white light okay white light they will encounter rain droplets then what will happen refraction will take place after that dispersion will take place then internal reflection further refraction will take place and finally a rainbow is formed so we learned how a rainbow is formed okay that is because of dispersion dispersion plays a major role okay also we learned about dispersion of white light through a glass prism so that's all for this session in the upcoming session we shall be learning about atmospheric refraction thank you